BYD has just announced its next-generation blade battery. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a shift that could redefine the future of electric cars. BYD has announced that their newest EV platform is going to be capable of charging up to 1 megawatt of power, which is really an unprecedented jump forward for the passenger vehicle market. This new battery is safer, cheaper, and charges faster than ever before with an 80% charge achievable in record time. BYD is proving why they're a force to be reckoned with in the EV world. But how did they achieve this breakthrough? Also, what makes this battery different from anything we've seen before? Join us as we uncover all about the Blade battery. The Blade battery is a game changer. Electric cars are not just the future anymore, they are the present. More people are switching to EVs every day, drawn by the promise of cleaner energy and lower fuel costs. But despite all the progress, one major problem remains. Batteries. For years, EV manufacturers have struggled with the same issues. Charging takes too long, batteries wear out too quickly, and worst of all, they're expensive. These problems have slowed down EV adoption, keeping many potential buyers skeptical. Most electric cars today use lithium-ion batteries made with materials like nickel, cobalt, and manganese. These metals allow batteries to store more energy, which increases the driving range of EVs, but they also come with serious drawbacks. The first is cost. Nickel and cobalt are expensive to mine and refine, which drives up battery prices. This is one of the reasons why electric vehicles are still more expensive than gas-powered cars. The second is safety. Nickel and cobalt-based batteries have a dangerous flaw. They can overheat and catch fire. In extreme cases, they can even explode. Many EV owners have seen stories of battery fires making safety a top concern. Thirdly, there are supply issues. The materials used in traditional batteries come from a few specific regions. Cobalt, for example, is mostly mined in the Democratic Republic of Congo. This has led to supply chain problems and ethical concerns about how these materials are sourced. BYD saw all these problems and instead of just making small improvements, they decided to change the game completely. BYD didn't want to make just another battery, they wanted to create something safer, cheaper, and more efficient. So in 2020, they introduced the Blade battery. Unlike traditional EV batteries, the Blade battery doesn't use nickel or cobalt. Instead, it relies on lithium iron phosphate, or LFP. This one change solved many of the biggest issues with EV batteries. First, it made the battery much safer. One of the biggest risks with traditional lithium-ion batteries is thermal runaway. This happens when a battery overheats, leading to a chain reaction that can cause fires or explosions. BYD tested this aggressively. They performed the nail penetration test, which is honestly one of the toughest safety tests in the industry. Most batteries fail this test because the nail creates a short circuit, which leads to overheating and in some cases, fire. But when BYD tested the blade battery, it didn't catch fire. Even when it was crushed, bent, and exposed to extreme heat, it remained stable. Second, it made EVs cheaper. Since LFP batteries don't use expensive metals like cobalt and nickel, they're much cheaper to produce. Lower production costs mean lower car prices, making EVs more affordable for everyone. Third, it improved battery lifespan. Most lithium-ion batteries start to degrade after a few years, losing capacity and reducing the car's range, but LFP batteries are far more durable. The Blade battery can last up to 5,000 charge cycles, which is much longer than traditional EV batteries. With all these advantages, the Blade battery quickly became one of the best EV batteries on the market. But now, BYD has done something even more impressive, the next-generation Blade battery. BYD didn't stop at just making a great battery, they wanted to make it even better. Since launching the Peng car brand in Europe last October, BYD entered 15 European countries within just 11 months, and that's exactly what they've done with their next-generation Blade battery. So what's new? Well first, energy density has increased. The old Blade battery had an energy density of 140 watt-hours per kilogram. The new one has 190 watt-hours per kilogram. That's a 27% increase. But you might wonder, what does this actually mean? more energy in the same space. A battery with higher energy density can store more power without becoming bigger or heavier. That means EVs can go farther on a single charge without needing a larger battery pack. Then there's charging speed. One of the biggest complaints about EVs is that charging takes too long. People are used to filling up a gas tank in a few minutes. Waiting an hour or more to charge a battery feels inconvenient. BYD's new Blade battery changes that. It can charge from 30% to 80% in just 30 minutes, using a direct current fast charging system that can deliver up to 110 kilowatts of power to an electric vehicle. 
That's a huge improvement, making EV charging much more practical. And it's not just about speed, it's also about efficiency. The new battery generates less heat while charging. This means less energy is wasted and the battery lasts longer over time. But here's the real question. How did BYD manage to improve the battery so much? BYD's success didn't come out of nowhere. This wasn't a lucky discovery or a sudden innovation. It was the result of years of research, testing, and refining. The company has been improving its battery technology step by step, making sure every version is better than the last. But how exactly did they manage to push the limits this time? Well, it all starts with chemistry. Traditional electric vehicle batteries rely on a mix of nickel, cobalt, and manganese. These materials provide high energy density but they come with some serious problems. They're expensive, difficult to source, and honestly, they're prone to overheating. Cobalt in particular has been a major issue due to its high cost and controversial mining practices. BYD, however, took a different approach. Their blade battery uses lithium iron phosphate, or LFP, which, you know, really changes everything. LFP batteries are naturally safer because they don't overheat as easily. They're also cheaper because they don't rely on rare and costly metals, and on top of that, they last longer making them a much better long-term investment. But BYD didn't stop there. They refined the raw materials, adjusted the battery structure, and optimized the way energy is stored, increasing efficiency like never before. Beyond chemistry, another key factor in BYD's success is its manufacturing process. Unlike many other EV companies, BYD controls almost every part of its supply chain. They don't just design batteries, they produce them from start to finish. This level of control allows them to make improvements that other companies can't. With this latest blade battery, BYD streamlined production to cut costs, redesigned components to improve performance, and eliminated inefficiencies that would normally drive up prices. This means they can offer a battery that's not just powerful, but also affordable. Heat management is another major area where BYD has made significant progress. Batteries naturally generate heat when they charge and discharge, and too much heat can cause damage or, worse, lead to fires. Cooling systems are essential, but they also add complexity and cost. BYD's latest battery takes a different approach by improving the materials themselves. The new design generates less heat in the first place, meaning it doesn't need as much cooling to stay safe. This not only makes the battery more reliable, but also increases energy efficiency and extends its lifespan. For years, the biggest names in the EV industry like Tesla General Motors Volkswagen and others have relied on traditional lithium-ion batteries that use nickel and cobalt. So, how does this change the future of the EV industry? Well, let's dig in. These batteries have high energy density, but they come with major drawbacks. They're expensive to produce, prone to overheating, and have supply chain issues that make manufacturing unpredictable. With the second-generation blade battery, BYD has eliminated all of these problems in one go. This changes everything. First, let's talk about cost. Battery prices have always been one of the biggest barriers to making EVs affordable for everyone. Cobalt and nickel are expensive materials, and since many automakers depend on external suppliers, prices can fluctuate wildly. BYD's LFP-based battery doesn't need these expensive metals, and because BYD controls the entire production process, they can keep costs low while maintaining quality. This means their EVs can be sold at much lower prices, putting serious pressure on competitors to do the same. Then there's safety. EV battery fires are rare, but when they do happen, they make headlines. While they provide a path towards reduced emissions, EVs can be especially dangerous when they catch fire. Traditional lithium-ion batteries can overheat and, in extreme cases, catch fire or explode. This is a major concern for both automakers and consumers. BID's blade battery was already known for its extreme safety, passing nail penetration and heat tests without catching fire. The new generation takes this even further by improving thermal stability and reducing heat generation. This makes EVs safer than ever before. Subscribe for more videos like this.